pastry making is a lost skill and it's such a shame because it's actually really easy to do. But there are some rules. First of all, everything must be really, really, really cold. The reason being is that it helps everything sort of contract, which is going to really encourage a very crisp pastry. Put 225 grams of plain flour into a food processor. Add 120 grams of ice cold butter, a pinch of salt, and whiz until the mixture resembles fine breadcrumbs. Then you're going to add two eggs. Another rule with pastry is you don't want to overhandle it. Just going to turn this out onto the surface. So just bring it together into a ball. Grab a piece of cling film. Then you just pop that into the fridge just to rest for about half an hour. Now with the pastry made, I'll show you how to turn it into something really yummy. So on these cold winter nights, there is nothing better than having a hearty pie. And my aromatic heady meat pie is a perfect winter warmer. Start by seasoning the beef with salt and pepper. Give it a mix and throw it into a hot pan. Should get a nice sizzle when we do this. It's best if you brown the meat in batches. If you do overcrowd the pan, what tends to happen is the meat starts to sweat and it goes grey and you're never going to get that good colour on it. And that's exactly what we're looking for, that really dark, caramelised colour. Take it out of the pan. With all the beef browned, throw some peeled shallots and garlic cloves into the remaining juices. Add some tomato puree. It gives a little bit of sweetness to the whole dish. And finally, three tablespoons of flour. Then return the beef to the pan. Now, a meat pie would not be a meat pie without some good old English brown ale. So we're just going to stir some of that in. Now, some red wine. Now, this is another contribution to the heady side of it. Add some good quality stock. you just got to look at that. That's like proper jelly. Finally, add some bay leaves, cinnamon sticks, rosemary, thyme, star anise and cloves. God, this is smelling good. I hope you can get it, can you? <laughs> We're going to let that stew for about two and a half hours, but do check it every half an hour, give it a good stir, and just make sure it's not sticking to the bottom of the pan. When the pie filling has cooled, remove the bay leaves and cinnamon sticks. It's like a really thick, luscious stew. So I'm going to get on with making the pie itself. So we've got our pastry here. Cut the pastry into two sections, a bigger one for the base and a smaller one for the lid. I'd say move the pastry rather than move yourself around it. I'm going to pick that up, take it over to our pie dish. So we're going to put our cold stew into the centre. OK, and then we're ready to do the lid. Wipe some egg wash around the edges. This will seal the lid on nicely. Cut away the excess pastry and scallop the edges. You just sort of squash around the edges. Egg wash the top of your pie and decorate using any leftover pastry. Well, that's it, ready to go in the fridge to chill for about 30 minutes before it goes into a hot oven, 200 degrees, for about 35 to 40 minutes. My heady meat pie. Crisp pastry, a delicious sticky aromatic filling. As easy as pie. <laughs>